as part of exercise 3 we have to create a replica set for our metadata service and configure our liveness probe and readiness probe accordingly so let's get started as part of this exercise i have my replica set yaml ready the kind is replica set so the name of the replica set is metadata rs the number of replicas specified is 2 all the specification about pod is inside template tag here in template tag first part is metadata where i specify what is the label to be given to the each pod i have specified the container specification where i am using the metadata version 1.0 container port 8080 I have specified one environment variable to 0 0.0.0. .0. I have specified readiness probe to 0.2 actuator help and liveness probe to actuator info. Now, in Spring Boot application, if you look at how the health endpoint is implemented, it also checks for the database connection by default. In our case, we have switched it off because in memory database does not support that feature yet so that's why it is turned off so in case my connection to database goes down then health point is going to return down which means i'll i'm not ready to serve the request so readiness probe declares the pod ready to serve the request and liveness probe checks if the pod is healthy or not so i have two terminal here where I'm watching for the pods here and replica set here. So let's deploy our replica set. Replica set created, desire count to, current count to, not ready yet. We have given a initial delay of 20 second. Now this is very important since I'm running on Minikube and my application is java spring boot application which takes around 5 to 10 seconds to start and i'm running on my local machine and running multiple pods together takes more time so approximately it takes around 10 seconds to start so if you give very low number there it will continuously go into the restart loop i'll show you that as well so now both the pods are running now let's try to access this pods to access it i can go to the mini cube and access using pod ip i'll do just do curl say five up so both the pods are up and running now let's try one thing let's exit from here let's delete the replica set gone let's reduce this to very low number let's say two seconds and check every one second two seconds and check every one second so now let's deploy this ridiculously low initial delay and period second right let's see what happens replica set created let's watch the event what's going on so i'm just getting the event sorted by timestamp and i just want to see all the kind as pod so if you notice Liveness probe failed, liveness probe failed, readiness probe failed. Continuously checking if you see the restart container here. So you need to be very careful what is the initial delay you give it to your uh, readiness and liveness probes. These are very important. Many times I have seen that when you are doing exercise and if you have low memory on your machine, then it takes around 20 to 30 seconds as well to start. So give larger initial delay so it's easy that you should just start your pod once and see how long it takes right so give around let's say i, I was I've given 20 and 5 here 20 and 5 first i need to delete pods are gone apply with the higher value if you see kubectl logs it took around 14 seconds even on my machine which is having 32 gb of ram so just be careful java application takes time 
based on the startup and boot time this can vary and this is one of the very important factor when you are specifying your liveness and readiness probe. 